kids! Welcome to our online kids church. My name is Teacher Cams. We are here with two reasons. Number one, we honor God. And number two, we make disciples. So, let us prepare our hearts to worship God. But before that, let us pray. Father God, thank you for this day and thank you for so much blessing you've given to us. Help us to learn a lot more and to understand your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Are you ready kids to sing praises God? Come on! It's me, Teacher Anna. For our time of giving, let me share to you a verse from the Bible. It is from 1 Chronicles 29 verse 12. It says here, Riches and honor come from you. You rule everything. You have the power and strength to make anyone great and strong. In here, it describes how powerful and mighty our God is. All that we have and everything that we are enjoying right now comes from our God, our Father. And because of that, He deserves to be praised and honored at all times. One way to honor Him is by giving our tithes and offerings. By this act of humility, we acknowledge that God is the source of every blessing that we have and that He will provide for everything that we need. So let's pray. Lord, we thank you for you are a God who provides. Thank you, Father, for you are in control of everything, for you are the God of all. We thank you, Lord God, for these kids, Lord, and as they give, uh, let them, Lord, be blessed by you. We thank you, Father, we honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> There is 
is peace in Christ when we learn of him feel the love he felt for us when he bore our sins listen to his words let them come alive if we know him as he is there is peace in Christ he gives us Ang ganda naman ang kinakanta mo, anak. Nakaka-encourage. Oo nga, anak. Ang ganda nga ng kinakanta mo. Tuwing umaga, nakakatuwa. Nagpapatugtugan ng worship song. Naalala ko po kasi kung gaano kaya ka-love mo, Jesus, kapag nagpapatugtug ako ng worship songs. Mami, luto na po ba yung food? Nagugutom na po ako eh. Ah, mabilis na to, anak. Malapit na tumaluto. Anak, ano bang sinabi dun sa... Kanta na kinakanta mo kanina. Di ba sabi doon, listen to his words and let them come to alive? Sabi di ba sa Bible, ang isa sa mga fruit ng spirit ay patience. Dapat ikaw matuto ka na magkaroon ng pasensya at magantay. Kain na, luto na ang pagkain. Patience is a virtue. Mami, hindi po ako makadaan. Marami pong harang dito. Anak, wait lang. Matatapos na po sa gift lang. A little later. Mami, ang tagal naman po. Kanina pa ako naghihintay dito. Oh, Ay, no. Be patient. Alam mo bang si God is so patient with us? Dapat tularan natin siya. Naalala ko yung sinabi sa akin ni Daddy kanina na Fruit of Spirit na pag-aralan namin yung sa Kids Church. Ano nga ba ulit yung patience? Ah! Alam ko na! Papanoorin ko na lang ulit sa MacFinder episode about patience. Hmm! Magandang katag mo man yan! Salamat talaga, may YouTube channel ang MacFinder. Naalala ko na kung, pa, kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng patience. Kaso, gusto ko din maintindihan kung anong sinabi ni Mami na God is patient, kaya dapat natin siyang tularan. Parang wala naman akong naalala na episode na ganun sa MacFinder. Kanino kaya ako nagtatanong? Hmm. Teka, parang kilala ko to na sa picture namin ha. Hmm. <laughs> Hello? Ha, simple lang yan. Tulong lang kitang masagot ang iyong katanungan. Ang iyong Si God ay patient. Hmm. Mackfinder, nakakagulat ka naman kung saan-saan ka sumusulpot. <laughs> Hindi ka pa nasara eh. Pala nga naman kung saan-saan tayo nakapupunta eh. <laughs> Pasensya ka na kung nagulat kita kasi nasagat ng aking detector ang iyong katanungan. Kaya ako napunta sa picture frame. <laughs> Ganito, tutuloy mo kita masagot ang iyong katanungan. 
Kilala mo ba si King David? Opo, siya po yung tumalo kay Goliath tapos po naging king siya. A man after God's own heart. Tama! Si King David ay maraming napanalo ng laban dahil sa tulong ng ating Panginoon. And of course, bless din siya ni God. Papakita ko sa ibang mga picture. At hindi lang yun. Kahit na naging matapat si David sa ating Panginoon, ngunit alam mo ba na nagkamali din siya at nagkawang din siya ng kasalanan sa ating Panginoon? At alam niyo ba na kahit na nagkamali si King David during that time, ang pasensya ng ating Panginoon ay umaapaw. At ganun na lamang ay pinatawad siya ni Lord sa kanyang mga nagawa. At tulad din ng pinanood mong video kanina about patient, it means long temper or pinagpasensyaan siya ni Lord. Because... God's nature is unchanging. He was and is and always patient with us. At alam mo ba, narinig ko rin yung kinakanta mo kanina. And for sure, marami kang natutunan sa mga lyrics ng iyong kinakanta kanina. Tama po. Narealize ko na kahit makasalanan tayo, bless at mahal tayo ni Lord. At si God po pala ay patiently waiting na humingi ng tawad sa Kanya. Ang nakakatuwa po dito ay gumawa siya ng way para ma-realize natin ito. Tama ka dyan! Hmm. Kaya pala si God ay merciful, compassionate, slow to anger, at mapagmahal na Panginoon na dapat natin turalan. At ang sabi sa so Second Peter chapter 3 verse 15, I and count the patience of our Lord as salvation. Awesome talaga si God. Salamat na Finder. Malino na sa akin ang lahat. Ngayon, naintindihan ko na kung bakit lagi pinapaalala ni Mami at Daddy yung patience. Kasi gusto nila na i-imitate ko si Christ. Walang ano man. Masaya ako at marami kang natutunan sa mga pinag-usapan natin ngayong araw na ito. At hindi lang yung tatanungin natin yung mga kasama natin na nanonood. Marami pa kayo natutunan ngayon? Oo! At dahil dyan, meron naman tayo na sagot ng mod o di mamisu na sa chill na yung araw na ito. Kaya't muli, ako si Mac Finder. At sabi yung stay curious, ask questions, and seek the answers dito lang sa Mac Finder. And ang requesters, featuring awesome God! Woo! Woo! Hello! Nag-enjoy ba kayong mga bata ngayong araw na ito? Wow! Dahil dyan, good job! Pakitap na ngayon, balikat nyo, sabi mo, good job sa akin. Hmm. Anyway, ang ating power verse ngayong araw na ito ay walang iba kung hindi Psalm chapter 145 verse 8 and ang diversion at ang sabi dito ay The Lord is merciful and compassionate slow to get angry, and filled with unfailing love. Hello there kids! We are now back again sa ating craft time! This week, tinulungan tayo ni Mac Finder na alamin ang isang character ni God, which is patience. God is patient. And to help us remind ourselves of this truth, kakawa tayo ng snail craft. At ang power verse ka natin today ay makikita natin sa Psalm chapter 145 verse 8 at babasahin ko ito sa NLT version. The Lord is merciful and compassionate. Slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. Remember that God is patient with us. That is why we also need to be patient. The same love, compassion, mercy, and patience 
and are we receive natin from the Lord is what we should be extending them to the people around us. Example nito, we wait in line patiently, slow to get angry or irritated, and also let us be forgiving. At marami pang ibang ways to show patience to other people.
the darkest night. I can't, I can't deny you are.